Next, I'd like to introduce Cameron Naylor, who will be discussing deducing accurate ion mobilities in complex atmospheres. Although human spaceflight is a laudable goal, if we are to discover and rigorously characterize extraterrestrial life, we need robust, portable scientific instruments that are able to detect organic or biological molecules. Additionally, such an instrument must account for the likelihood that evidence of life is going to be found on a planet or a moon with an atmosphere that differs greatly from Earth's. For example, Mars's atmosphere is comprised of 96% carbon dioxide, while Io's is primarily sulfur dioxide. On the other hand, Earth's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen and oxygen, so any functioning instrument that utilizes the gas phase as a measurement medium must be flexible. Arguably, the most widely used analytical technique on Earth, ionomobility spectrometry, measures the time that ionized chemicals travel through a tube filled with filtered air. Its success is largely due to its ease of use and robustness. But in order for this technology to be used in extraterrestrial environments, we need a theory that predicts ion flight times or mobilities in different gas mixtures, not just nitrogen and oxygen. Blank's law is an old theory that allows for the prediction of mobilities in different gas mixtures, but it was developed using only atomic ions, which are much simpler samples than the molecules that would be indicative of life. My hypothesis is that Blank's law applies to molecules, and it can be used to predict the mobility of those molecules in different mixtures of gases on other planets. So, to start with, we took a series of samples and we measured them in defined mixtures of two gases. And then we compared the experimental results to what Blank's Law predicted. And we found that Blank's Law worked. It was able to predict the experimental results within 1% error. Then we moved on to a more complex mixture and we measured the molecules in a mixture of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% percent argon, which we dubbed synthetic air, on blue in the bar graph behind me. And we compared those results to those molecules measured in actual compressed air, in red on the bar graph behind me. Although it doesn't look like much, we found that there was a significant difference in mobility for the smaller molecules, such as the tripeptide, than for the larger molecules, indicating that the trace gases in actual air in that 1% cause a significant difference in mobility for smaller molecules. These initial experiments indicate that Blank's Law applies to molecules and can be used to predict the mobility of those molecules in, on different planets or moons with an atmosphere different from Earth's, so long as that atmospheric composition is accurately known. I believe that this technology, this fundamental research, will enable, us to, will enable a new class of high-resolution measurements on other planets. Thank you.